हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनिसेटी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कोब वेब मॉडल द कोब वेब मॉडल इज बेस्ड ऑन टाइम लैग बिटवीन सप्लाई एंड डिमांड डिसीजन द कोब वेब मॉडल इज बेस्ड ऑन टाइम लैग बिटवीन सप्लाई एंड डिमांड डिसीजन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस मॉडल डिमांड डिपेंड ऑन प्राइस ऑफ करंट ईयर बट सप्लाई डिपेंड ऑन प्राइस ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर एंड वी कैन present it as d is function of pt and s is function of pt minus 1 here d is demand and pt is price of current year means demand depend on price of current year and s is supply and pt minus 1 is price of previous year and means supply depend on price of previous year and coweb basically divided into three parts uh, continuous coweb divergent coweb and convergent coweb one by one we discuss Discuss about each. Firstly, we will talk about continuous coveb. Continuous coveb means where elasticity of supply is equal to elasticity of demand, or we can say that in case of continuous coveb, change in price will affect demand and supply equally. Okay, we understand continuous coveb with the help of this diagram. On x-axis we have quantities and y-axis we have price. This DD is our demand curve and this SS is our supply curve. And we have equilibrium point at E where demand is equal to supply. Now suppose for any reason our supply has increased. Now we have higher supply R. Q2. For any reasons, our supply has increased, and now we have higher supply R Q2. And this high supply will cause a fall in price. And now we have O P2 lower price. Now we have P2 lower price, and this low price will cause a fall in. supply and now we have r1 q3 lower supply and this low supply will cause of rise in price now we have higher price o p3 okay and this rise in price will cause of higher supply and then you see we again got this got this r point where our supply is higher and this cycle will start again and this higher supply will cause of fall in price and low price will cause of fall in supply and low supply will cause of rise in price okay in case of a, a continuous coveb this cycle will repeat again and again that's why it's called continuous coveb and most important thing uh, there is gap between change in price and change in supply as i earlier discussed our supply is affected by previous year price not the current year price that's why there is time lag between that okay now we talk about divergent coveb in case of divergent coveb we diverge from our equilibrium in case of divergent coveb we diverge from our equilibrium means we are not able to achieve equilibrium we are going far from our equilibrium because in case of divergent coveb our elasticity of supply is more than elasticity of demand that's why we are diverging from our equilibrium we understand this with the help of diagram okay all process will remain same as we earlier discussed in continuous coveb okay uh, rise in price will uh, cause of high supply high supply will cause of uh, uh, fall in price and low price will cause of fall in supply. all process will remain same okay now suppose we start from here we start from here where rise in price is cause of high supply then we are moving in this direction where high supply will cause of fall in price then we are moving in in this direction then we are moving in this then moving this direction and finally we are here okay we are here and our equilibrium point is this and we are here you can clearly see we are very far from our equilibrium point we have diverged from our equilibrium point okay and this is exactly divergent equilibrium when we are diverging from our equilibrium we are not able to achieve our equilibrium we are going far from our equilibrium 
नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट कन्वर्जेंट को वेब कन्वर्जेंट को वेब इज जस्ट अपोजिट टू डाइवर्जेंट को वेब इन केस ऑफ कन्वर्जेंट को वेब वी आर कन्वर्जिंग विद अवर इक्वली बीरियम मीन्स वी आर गोइंग क्लोज टू अवर इक्वली बीरियम बिकॉज हेयर इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड इज मोर देन इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ सप्लाई दैट्स वाई वी आर कन्वर्जिंग विद अवर इक्वली बीरियम ओके वी अंडरस्टैंड दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ डायग्राम All process will remain same as we earlier discussed. A rise in price will cause of high supply. High supply will cause of fall in price. Low price will cause of fall in supply, and low supply will cause of rise in price. All process will remain same. Okay. Now suppose we start from here. High supply cause of fall in price, and then we move in this di direction. Low price will cause of fall in supply, and then we move in this direction. Low supply will cause of rise in rise in price. Then we move here, here, then here, here. Finally, we re reach here. Okay. Now we are here. You can see. we are very close to our equilibrium this e is our equilibrium point and we are very close to our equilibrium this is exactly our convergent curve where we are converging with our equilibrium we are going close to our equilibrium this is all about curve wave model i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care